interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Are the lights ready to go? Uh, I think we're live. Oh, perfect. Hi, hello everybody. Hi, hi, hi out there. Hello. Uh, it's me, Quint Rectangle. Uh, it's the, of the Kennebunkport Rectangles. My great-grandfather invented the shape that most movies are displayed in. Uh, I don't, I don't, the nepotism, the nepotism allegations don't bother me. You know, I'm proud. I'm proud of what my family was able to accomplish with four lines in a dream. So... <laughs> but so you know but you know listen um i'm standing in today for lionel fandango who's been the casting director here for a number of years um unfortunately i have some terrible news to share with the producers at home lionel fandango um there was a production assistant that worked for him and apparently this production assistant um shot him point blank in the head <laughs> So, the production assistant is in jail, uh, looking like he's going to get out on bail within the next few days. Pretty, pretty spectacular stuff. But anyway, we're here to cast a movie. Now, major motion pictures here at ENS Productions. This is an exciting opportunity. Um, I think that, uh, that uh, we're going to be able to do this uh, pretty smoothly today with your help, the producers there at home. So, so thank you so much for, for tuning in. There are a number of ways that you can assist us with the proceedings this evening. First and foremost, if you subscribe to our uh, little endeavor here. You can let us know what production companies are attached to help facilitate the production of this film. Here's a list of production companies from last time. It was just one. <laughs> best movie, best rating, I love it. It is coming, I, I do recall, I do recall some, I do recall there was some discussion after the fact, apparently somebody who typed that in was having a stroke in the middle of typing that out, so. Um, Maybe not an actual production company, but if you um, if we get 15 subscriptions over the course of this casting process, we'll go to a press junket where you'll be able to ask rapid fire questions of uh, people who have just completed another motion picture here at ENS Productions. For five dollars, we'll bring in a guest director to uh, to give some notes to our auditionee who will be just across from us there in this green screen space. That's just directly across from me, um, and they'll be reading lines from this new product up oh, now who's this hey sorry hey uh i'm the pa who shot the last guy oh dear hi there hi, uh, i'm chris chalakian hi mr chalakian uh congratulations on well i guess you haven't been acquitted yet and you've just gotten out on bail yeah the judge says i'm gonna be fine he says i finally showed it to the hollywood elite <laughs> yeah 50 dollar bail yeah pretty cheap he he actually had me approach the bench and then he whispered to me he said way to go brother and then dapped me up, and then sent me back. Now, just to just to clarify, he put out his hand for you to dap him up, and you walked from the bench to the judge's bench. No, no, no. So he calls me over. He calls you over. He says he tells my lawyer to wait over there. <laughs> right. He calls me over. Uh huh. He says I just want you to know, between friends, I'm proud of you for what you did. You're making America a better place. He dapped me up. Are we talking like su successive daps or just yeah, like yeah. one dap? Okay. Bailiff's like kind loud? of loud. Was it loud? Was the slaps loud? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't do it soft. If I'm gonna do it, I'm yeah. gonna do it. So it kind of echoes throughout the chamber of yes. the court. Yes. Bailiff's kind of like, are we? What? What do I do about this? Anyway, yeah. I'm sorry I killed that guy. Okay. I can tell you're sorry. He told me he was like, I know how to do that thing Houdini did. And I thought he meant how Houdini could dodge getting shot in the face. <laughs> what did he actually mean? I, don't I guess know. you'll never know. I guess you'll never know. Yeah. He's dead now. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's cool. How Houdini would dodge getting shot in the face. So I shot him in the face. He, I, he clearly didn't know how to do it. Yes. Yeah. It shouldn't be my fault. Right. No, I'm in agreement there. 
Hey, you're, you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Uh, so you're going to stick around for the casting prizes? Is it cool if I take like a three-hour lunch? Oh, quick? absolutely. Just make sure to bring back some sweet grain for me. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> All right. What do you want from sweet green? Um, something with lots of dressing. They don't they don't give enough dressing in the first pass, so you make sure to ask about the dressing. Okay. No preference on dressing, just make sure there's a lot of it. Just a lot of dressing. You got yeah. it, boss. And carrots. And carrots. It's good for vision. Okay. So you want me to say dressing, your choice. Salad, your choice. Just give me a lot of dressing and make sure that salad's loaded with Lo carrots. Go to town on the carrots. Okay. I will get that done for you, boss. <laughs> All right. I believe this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I think so, too. I'm a big fan of you already. I'll see you in about three <laughs> hours. I'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> what a nice young lady. All right. Nice. <laughs> Let's see if we can get started on the actual audition process, huh? So, like I said, $5 to bring in a guest director. They'll give notes throughout the casting process. Um, sound alerts. Sound alerts, of course, you can pay to change the auditioner's voice and their wardrobe, okay? And of course, halfway through the production, uh, or through the casting process rather, we'll go to an awards ceremony and see who's going to go home with the gold at the Enskers. <laughs> That's what they're called. <laughs> Why did you cut? I just cut. <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing in the corner? Is, is that you? That's, that's, me crazy. that's your. That's that. That was me in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that was me in your spotlight losing my freaking religion. So I just, we like you so much better than the last guy already. You rock. Ah, uh, yes. And I did 20 years of acting on all my children. I have played the children. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't imagine the horrible things you did during that. Well, time. you know, it was a long time to be a seven-year-old. And I think they finally figured out they can just hire a seven-year-old. You know, they had enough money to do it. So, but anyway, let's jump into the casting process, okay? So, first things first, somebody's got to remind me the name of the freaking movie that we're making. What's the name of the movie that we're making here, huh? I'm forgotten. Death Comes to the Arch Producer. Now, okay, a Willa Cather novel reference. That would normally be a really cool thing for some people, but for me, I don't know what that is. Um, Mr. Smith goes to Little St. James. Guy Hard 4, Shoot Gun. Seven Years a Child. The Last Donkey Kong. This freaking movie. Queefing Town, Sleepy Hollow, Evil <laughs> Friendly Guy. Sleepy Hollow is it already a movie. As well as a story. I feel like the IP would be cheap to get because it's a rather old story. The Coom, Donkey Punch Country, Sega Genesis Evangelion, pretty good. Pete Buttigieg, ah, uh, a movie about the life of Pete Buttigieg. Does everybody remember who that is? Does everyone remember who that is? The Rat Man? Yeah, the little tiny one. Um, I just read that his husband did improv in Chicago. <laughs> That's going to be the first 20 minutes of the film. Um, <laughs> along came a drywaller. Um... Uh, we got to what, what does anybody jump in? Is anything jumping out at anybody else? Pee Pee Hollow. Pee Pee Hollow. <laughs> oh. Pee Pee Hollow, the Pete yeah. Buttigieg story? Yeah. Yeah. Small Town Barbers is pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's perfect. Yeah. Hambono, thank you so much for your submission. Hambono, Small Town Barbers. So the name of the film is Small Town Barbers. Now, what could this movie be about? My guess is small town barbers, but I could be wrong. So, who wants to give us the logline of the film? Now, for those of you who are familiar with what logline means, it means one sentence description. So it's not a tagline. A lot of you want to go, the movie that'll end all movies. That's a tagline. We need a logline. Sassy surgeons in the Middle Ages. <laughs> But they're barbers. Barbershop, but really, really white. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, we got a hard no from one of the guys. A quartet that also robs, ba that bank robs small town banks. Back when barbers did surgery. Back when barbers did surgery. Uh, yeah, that's really good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's back. So barbers. This is. <laughs> this is a movie about the transition 
from when barbers used to do surgery to when now they only do haircuts and how that happened. So, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of sort of exploratory stuff where they're like, maybe we don't cut people open, maybe we just cut their noggin. Something like that. Maybe that's like the line that opens the trailer. Sounds like fun. So that's what the movie's about. Let's make sure the text doesn't run off the damn whiteboard <laughs> for fun. Um, Sorry. It's okay. So, that's what the movie's about. It's a period piece. Well, uh, around what time do we think this transition happened? Does anybody remember? 52. Throughout a year. Any year. 1945. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. Boy. 1945. <laughs> You know, they were excited. They were happy. They got good news, and they're like, I'll try something different. <laughs> yeah, that guy kissing the lady, he oh. just learned he's becoming a barber. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sa- <laughs> that guy, this sailor, macking that honey in Times Square, went on to be one of the greatest barbers of all time. He cut Frank Sinatra's hair. So, okay, that's the movie. Sounds exciting. Now, we need the name of our one of our main characters, okay? We need the name of one of our main characters, perhaps the lead barber. The Sam Pellegrino keys right out. <laughs> Just occurring to me. <laughs> Biff Clippington, that's great. Clip Bigsley. <laughs> Steve Perry, no relation. Her- Harry Snippets. I think Barbara is great. Oh, here's the catch. It's a woman. Here's again. The doctor was a woman. The doctor was a woman. (laughs) So, Barbara is the name of our lead character. Barbara. So, um, we're going to get our actor out here. We're going to meet them, chat with them a little bit. And while we're doing that, we're going to put up a poll. And you're going to let us know what the location and tone of this first scene that we'll be reading is. So without further ado, let's bring this first actor around here. Right, that's your mark right there. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Charles Melton. Charles Melton, from May December. Yeah, that's right. You, you saw that. Yeah, you saw that. Thank you. I sure did. I'm in that movie. Yeah. Charles, your neck looks like it got a boo boo. Yeah. Did you fall off that freaking roof from that scene with your son? <laughs> no, no. I do love that scene though. <laughs> You're making your look. Your face looks like Charles Mountain's face. That's really cool. Hey, it's awesome seeing you. Is it noticeable? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, I you're, got, they, you're talking about this. They, they made me get the uh, neck brace. They made me get PDF, so I had to. They made you get a PDF. Permanent DreamWorks face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They said it would help me, but, you know, because I guess they give it to everyone who is not nominated for an Oscar for their breakout role. So Help me understand. What DreamWorks face? You don't know the DreamWorks no. face? No. Is it just... Okay, okay. Well, yeah, that makes sense. You really don't know the DreamWorks face? Well, well, now, Charles, you're fairly new to Hollywood. You did you did Riverdale, right? And you did... Yeah, the Riverdale School of Acting is like what I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're in pain. You look like you're hurting. That's hurting. what this is for. That's the break. Okay. I've been doing this face nonstop for two months now. <laughs> now, so did Jeffrey Katzenberg just like waltz right up to you and say, "Congratulations, kid, you got a new face"? Uh, no, he put a bag over my head, and then I woke up two days later with this face. Well, that's. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Now you're going to be playing a barber. Okay. Do you have any experience cutting hair, Charles? Uh, no. I mean, I've I've like cut my sister's Barbie doll's hair before. <laughs> And was she okay with that? Oh, it was kind of a collaborative process with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. I really love my sister. <laughs> <laughs> like she was there on set with me during. Can uh, we get a mild sedative in here for Mr. Mountain? <laughs> it's not gonna work. Oh, it's not gonna work. I heard what you said. It's not gonna work. Oh, okay, that's not good. Did Todd Haynes try to get you some sedative for the for the film for the movie? He tried. <laughs> didn't work yeah I'm surprised that the face didn't make it into the movie because it was it happened about halfway through the production <laughs> oh goodness gracious oh I guess that's why <laughs> I guess that's why so much of the film you're like you've got like six fingers and stuff because you're replaced by an AI version of you right Am I yeah right? that's right chat GPT replacement <laughs> that's right it's so funny that's really silly 
Oh boy. Was Julianne Moore a treasure? She was fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did we get a location for this scene? Yeah, it's the trenches. Oh, terrific. Oh. Matona's Revenge. Oh, wow. So this is, now this is exciting. This is the scene where you, Barbara, have been, uh, you're over there in the trenches of World War II, right? You're fighting for survival. You're fighting on arrival. And the thing is, you're... <laughs> oh my God. What was that? Oh my God. That was an accident. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with this very specific reference. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> you were brought to the Caribbean. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Okay. Sure, leave it on me. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, choking. Sorry. Um, it's fine. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is the scene. You've been sent overseas to function as what used to be the role of a barber, which is surgery. And real. Yeah. And this is the scene where you start to realize maybe there's something more to this barber game than just cutting people open and fixing their hearts and stuff. Like cutting hair. Yeah. Okay. So this is like about the transit. It's kind of like singing in the rain, but for when barbers transition to cutting hair as opposed to surgery. Are you going to use that? Get the poster people on the line. We need to do, do a change in the whole marketing stuff. What's up? Uh, okay. So I'm a barber, but I, but that means in 1954, 45, that I'm doing surgery? Yes. In the trenches. Heard. Okay. And I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be reading the part of your commanding officer. Okay. Okay. And this is a revenge scene. Is a revenge scene. Okay. So you're you're you know you've realized that um, you've realized that what's the uh, what was the mean term that we used for the Germans at the time? Jerry's. Jerry's. One of the Jerry's has killed your good friend, and so you're deciding to yourself, uh, I'm going to get even. But how? Got it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm ready. Are you going to be able to emote at all during the scene? No. <laughs> Not with my face. It's all gonna be in the voice. Kind of like how a dog understands people. So maybe we'll do like, sort of the CGI replacement of your face like we would for a dog or a cat. If we've got the budget for it. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> all right, let's jump into the scene. Let's get the PA out here to do this slate for us. Any last questions you have about the part before we jump in? So I'm playing a woman? It's yes. fine. Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the context. Hey, you there, Private. Who, what? me? Yes, you. Sir, yes, sir. That's right, I'm talking to you. Why aren't you up there on the line uh, doing your surgery like a barber should? Sorry, sir. I'm just so devastated, sir, that my friend has been killed in action, sir. <laughs> We're all devastated. I've got six of my friends face down in the muck, in the slime and the mud of the damn war. Why don't you get your ass in gear and do what you're sent here to do, which is perform open heart surgery on that man right over there. I don't know if I can handle this, sir. Honestly, this is kind of an existential avalanche that's been thrust upon me. And I don't think I can really make it out there. I'm a coward. I an avalanche? I'm a coward. An avalanche? You son of a bitch. We're 100 miles from the nearest snowfall. Oh, yeah. You we moron. Oh. <coughs> We're going to need you to change your voice, Charles. You need me to change voice. my voice? In the middle of the audition, yeah, do a different voice, boys. So, sure thing, sir. <laughs> oh, great choice. Really good choice, thank you. Um, uh, audition for uh, 1890. Uh, Let's hop back in the scene, Charles. <laughs> Here we go. You want me to do what, sir? I want you to get out there into no man's land and perform open heart surgery on Billy. <sighs> but, okay, sir. I don't know. Do I even have any purpose out here? I feel like if I'm shut down this much that maybe I should just be thrown in with the other dead bodies, you know what I mean? I've just stated your purpose verbatim. Open your damn ears. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Shell sock, sure. What'd you say? Sorry, sure. Shell sock, sure. Spit that goddamn gum out of your mouth and enunciate, huh? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I have shell sock. 
<laughs> I can do that again. Yeah, try that one more time. <clears throat> sir, sorry, sir. I'm a bit shell shocked. Nailed it. <laughs> well, now I know exactly what you're talking about. I sympathize with you. At the same time, we didn't hire a barber for anything silly, anything flighty, like cutting hair. We hired you to get out there and do your duty. Uh, a barber cutting hair? <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> you just, you just quote John Wayne right here, right here in front of me. You know that I'm desperate to see more Wayne on the big screen. I don't remember this in the script, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I just got personal for me for that's saying cut, cut, cut. I'm sorry. Hey, that's my fault. That's my fault. I lost focus. I was like, uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? I <laughs> know, right? I'm sorry. No, but really, I don't mind. I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, yeah. So well, let's get some notes on that performance. I thought you were really excellent. Uh, really? You think so? I do. You took the note on changing your voice like a champ. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I, you know, I try to be... Uh, malleable, you know, and Todd appreciated that on the set, so, of May, December. Yeah, what, what, <laughs> when Todd you, Haynes. Todd yeah, Haynes, I know, heard of him? right, yeah, of course, yeah, when you showed up, what did you think the character would be like, and how did he need you to adjust your performance? I don't understand that question, were you talking to me? <laughs> so when you showed up on set, okay. Todd Haynes was like, change a lot of stuff. What was right. your initial conception of the character? Uh, really cool guy. Not like a victim of sexual trauma? No, yeah. see, that didn't cross me at all when I first read the script. Both. Exactly, that's kind of what he taught me. He said, por que no los dos. And I said, I don't speak Spanish, sir. I'm Filipino. Todd Haynes, fluent Spanish speaker? Yes, he directed most of it in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, it was... <laughs> How, did Julianne Moore have any trouble? Did she have to get a translator on set? There was a translator next to her. The entire time. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> really seems wildly inefficient. Okay, let's get some notes. Um, can you keep your face the exact same way? They're asking for another voice, too. Oh, a different voice. Uh, you want me to do another voice? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll do it. Any notes? Because I did like a high-pitched, like, nervous British guy this, the second time. But, you know, World War. this is World War II. So like, maybe go higher pitched, cause you've got so much tinnitus from all the freaking bombs going off. Right, shell shock. Someone's so, saying do it in Spanish, <sighs> but don't do it in Spanish. Thank you. Just so, so a Spanish <laughs> accent. You. So you want me to do it in a Spanish accent? I'm not I hearing didn't say it. No. I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it. But if you want to, you can. All right. <laughs> Sky. But you don't have to. The pregnant pauses make me feel like I have to. <laughs> no, it's okay. We need one more note before we jump back into the scene. Mouth more open. <laughs> this is definitely more DreamWorks for us. Can we get that any wider, son? <laughs> there we go. I feel so much better. <laughs> Just get a little bit wider. Just a tiny bit wider. Now we're talking, yes. Show us those bottom rows there, huh? Show us that bottom row. And this isn't a problem for the movie? <laughs> no. Excited. No, you look excited. You look excited to be there. And even if you're in the trenches, going through some sort of war-related trauma, the audience just wants to see you having fun up there. Who, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There's my guy. Way to go, Charlie. I'm doing so much math in my head to make all these faces. Let's, uh, we're cooking. Let's do it. Okay, let's jump right back into the scene. So let's, <laughs> let me get this slate back out there. Can we get a wardrobe change? Oh, uh, really? Thank you. Yeah, I guess that t-shirt's not cutting it for them. That's fine. I was mostly shirtless during all of May, December. Then they said, we should put a shirt on you. <laughs> Interesting. There are scenes taking place in public, like in restaurants in that movie. Yeah, I was going to be shirtless in all of those. They were just going to have, Okay. What was, it, what was the guy, the real guy's name? Falau? Do you see my body? Yeah, that's the guy's name. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Wow, now this is great. This <laughs> is... A lot of people forget, but the historians know. This is what barbers always dressed like in 1945. That's how you could tell them from the other soldiers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all the cooks were dressed like pirates. 
Oh, what a perfect system. <laughs> it was, yeah, it kind of flawless. I've become such a history buff since working on this film. <laughs> it's, I'm glad. Okay, let's hop back right back into the scene, okay? Here we go. Hey, you. Oi, what? sir. Yeah, what? In <laughs> <laughs> let's get you back up into no man's land where you belong, Scout. No, sir, don't make me go out there. <laughs> Now, buddy, don't, don't try any fast ones. You're going to be labeled a deserter unless you follow the orders of your CO. That's commanding officer. Oh, my God. I feel so fucked up, Your Honor. Oh, my God. Please don't make me go out there. I'm useless. I'm useless, I tell you. You called me Your Honor, which is not an honorific that we use out here. You can call me commanding officer. And you can do one thing. Get out into the freaking war. Oh, oh God. That oh. guy over there, you seen that? His arms clean off. Billy? He's missing an arm? You've got to sew it back on with your barber clippers. <laughs> I don't know if this is what I'm fit for, honestly. You're, you're, I almost called you your honor again. It's just kind of, I'm just kind of used to saying it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Marcus from Brooklyn. Remember him? Remember that scene from earlier in the movie where he was uh, at mess with you and you bonded with him? Of course his, I did. His eyeball is falling out. You've got to go over there and use your thinning shears to get that bad boy right back in. Oh my gosh. And he's got hair in that wound of his. Someone's got to take care of that. Well, now, don't you get any big ideas about cutting that man's hair. No, 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 no. I got an idea. What if I swoop some of that bang hair over the other side? <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like a Jerry, but uh, a little more stylish and less fascistic. That would clear a clear make a clearing there for his aiming eye exactly right <laughs> what sir what a brilliant idea Sorry. <clears throat> pardon me it's exactly right sir <laughs> it's unconventional but it just might work what it's unconventional but it just might work all right, thank you sir should i go out there sir yeah all right here i go okay now this is the part in the script where you pantomime running through the tr running through the no man's land you got it. <laughs> ah! Out of the way! I'm a barber! I'm a barber! Let me in there! Now, I'm gonna yell cut here. Hi, cut. Um, you'll notice in the stage directions, um, it's mostly kind of a sneaky thing that you're doing. You're kind of trying to sneak through. You're yeah, not trying to... Because you're, just, you're making yourself a bigger target when you run through flapping your arms around like that. That's true. Serpentine movements, kind of like in the, the in-laws. Okay, can I Kind of like again? in the, the in-laws? The, yeah. the film with Alan Alda and... Yeah, they do the serpentine movements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't remember that? Yes, of course I do. Can I, do I look like a guy who would remember that. <laughs> you look like a guy who worked on the movie. <laughs> no, they didn't let me near that set. Oh, okay. Can I try one more time with the, the pantomime? Sure, go for it. All right. Like in scene. Ladies and gentlemen. Go now, go now, go now, do it. We got him. <laughs> And cut. Wow. That was excellent, Charlie. Oh, Thank you. Charlie, that was terrific. Uh, we're going to put a poll up to decide whether or not you get the part, but for me, I think you're a lock. Yeah, I feel a little out of my depth, honestly, but I, I do I do think if you get me, uh, if you take me, I give it my all. Terrific. Thank you, an anonymous gifter, for those subscriptions. And um, we do have a celebrity attached. Do we have that uh, co-star ready to go? It's going to be worth it. I'm told that it's going to be worth it. I hope it's not Julianne. She's so uh, fucking weird. Ready. Is she... She's did she do something bad to you, Charles? Not bad. Just... Just weird. Just off. You know? I don't want to unpack that. On that particular set, I'd like to know that everybody was nice and above board. So let's take a look at the ghost star that's attached. Ah, uh, yes, it's Super Saiyan Mario. No way! Super Saiyan Mario. That's fantastic. Yeah. He, he's transitioning from his work as the prosecuting attorney from Anatomy of a Fall, and he's appearing now in this great motion picture, Small Town Barbers. He's an icon. He's an, he's an icon. He, I, I love a character actor. <laughs> yeah. He, you know, he wants to be, he's got a leading man body, a leading man physique, but a character actor's range. Kind of like Bat Pitt. <laughs> kind of like Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> so, the last time somebody called him Bad Pitt, they wound up in a pit, son. Ha <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Thanks for correcting me on that one. So be careful. Still an amateur out here, you know what I mean? All right, Charlie. I think you've got a bright future ahead of you. And it's because you're beautiful. Thank you. Did we put the poll up? I'm working on it. 
Uh, it what? sure doesn't look like the pole's up. Someone asks, what is Mario super saying? <laughs> Carrie, yeah, Carrie, asking me? I, 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 it's an open question to everybody here in the studio. What, what would Mario say in the freaking movie? Kamehame, it's a me, Mario? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the kind of wit that gets you a part on the CW. <laughs> that's true, yeah. I feel like that's where I kind of belong still these days. But, you know, my co-stars in fucking... Right now, Charlie is looking like games. a runaway. Do you ever think about being Charlie from Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Yes, that's because my dream project. Because your name is Charlie? That's my dream project, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's like the 1971 film, verbatim, except I am Charlie Bucket. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And there's also maybe a little bit of sexual tension. Between who? Between you and the person playing Willy Wonka, which is, of course, the guy from Bear. Yeah, Jeremy Allen White. Jeremy Allen White is Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. And you're Charles Melton, who is you canonically that? over 18 in the movie. And you kind of thinking to yourself, did Wonka invite a bunch of kids and one hot guy to flirt with to the factory? I'm sorry, what are you trying to justify here? What's going on right now? I feel like you just kind of brought up some context or something that I don't really think was like up for argument or anything. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's part of the movie. It's, it's, it's tr regular Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Right, yeah. But when you get in the glass elevator at the end, you kiss. And we're hiring this actor. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll sleep on it. Um, uh, thanks. I'm sorry that I couldn't net a nomination for May, December, but I'm hoping that this one will win many, many awards. Hey, <laughs> you will get them next time. Yeah. Are you going to be on set? Hey, look at me. Look at me. You will get them next time. <laughs> you hear me? Are we clear on that? Yeah, loud. We will get them next time. You hear me? Uh -huh. are, you, are you canonically straight? Trust me, this is important. Charles Ooh. Melton? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm bi. Okay. It, for the sake of this, you have a girlfriend. You uh, tell her you're gonna maybe descend right. her to the Oscars next year. What? Yeah, yeah. Say, Say that. With that. Say it with that. Hold on, I'm trying to take it in. Say it one more time. You should tell your girlfriend that you're gonna may you may descend her to the Oscars next year. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do this movie. <laughs> I understand. So we won't be hearing from you? No. Okay, all right, well, that was a scratch. Okay, uh, did he get the part? Yeah. Okay, well, not anymore, because he's quitting. So, yeah. sorry, right. I'm sorry for him. I'm sorry for him, Charles. It's more so you. Oh, me? Why didn't I do? You know what you did. You're right. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting all of you. Hope to see you on the red carpet someday. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye, Charlie. Oh, by the way, do you guys validate parking? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Is it my face? Oh, uh, we don't have a parking lot within a mile of here. Where if you I park somewhere, it's not a parking lot. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Sorrento. <laughs> another Sorrento bites the dust. It's another day of work here at ENS Productions. We lost DreamWorks face, it's true. It's hard, it's hard to let go of something so beautiful, so pure, so ready to take on this whole little system we call Holly Weird. But it had to be done, unfortunately, because of the bad pun. So let's see if we can get... Great pun. Eh, well... 10 out of 10. Eh, we might have to disagree on that. So now we need uh, we need another character. Now, um, every barber has an assistant barber. They sort of hand them the thinning shears scalpel. and the scalpel. <laughs> you know, like a nurse. So this is the barber assistant that we're we're casting for right now and what's the name of that character what is the name of Sweeney Sweeney Tom pretty good Lil Skeet Snippet Hoff Snippet Hoff is very good that's very very good <laughs> Ms. Scissor Borber Gorbo <laughs> <laughs> and and it's and it's coming from one of the very best usernames we have here in this whole gosh darn website. <laughs> Testicular torsionist. You're relatively new here, so we're gonna give it to you, Gorbo, the assistant. Now, <laughs> a lot of times in movies, when an assistant or a friendly little guy is a one named character, they're fun and they get merch. Let's see if we can do that here. So this is Gorbo. Gorbo is an assistant to 
Barbara, the barber. <laughs> so let's bring out the next actor, and while we're doing that, we're gonna get the tone and location for this next scene. So let's see this next actor here. Uh, hello, hi there. Hello. <laughs> Come again, what was that? Hello. <laughs> I believe it means hello. Ah, oh yeah, I was thrown off. Oh, what's this? Is that the Bible? <laughs> What's your name? We have a lot of people auditioning today. My name's Fur Falakal. <laughs> Fur Falakal? Mm hmm. Is that Swedish? No. Come on. <laughs> what, where are you from, Fur Falakal? I'm from the basement, and it's my first time out. <laughs> now, why were you in that basement, Fur Laka? I am asking myself that question a lot now that I'm not there. So you. <laughs> You willingly chose to live in a basement for your entire life? I wouldn't say it was willingly. Okay. <laughs> so, who put you there in that basement for Verlaka? <laughs> That's a personal. But, you know. It feels pretty pertinent. It's private. Have you gone to the authorities about the time in the basement? I, it's none of their business. <laughs> it kind of is. No. My rules, were there my other house. Were there other people in the basement for Verlaka? Maybe. <laughs> oh, for Verlaka. It's not a time to be coy. Someone could be in trouble. No, everybody's fine. Everyone's fine. That's what we are told. They like it there. Yeah, okay. we like it. It's actually good. Well, for Verlaka, uh, were you able to watch any movies down there in that basement? Yes, I watched Groundhog Day every day, so I had my own little Groundhog Day. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's trippy. So you're here to follow in the footsteps of your one acting icon, Bill Murray. Um, uh, no. He's not my, he's not my icon. So it's the other one, the one who gave birth to Margaret Qualley. <laughs> Who's that? The other actor, the other leading actor in that film. The woman? Yes. What's her name? What's, I can't remember the name of the actress. I don't know. It's not her. Stephen Tobolowsky? You're thinking of Tobolowsky. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of the other Murray. Brian Doyle. Brian Joel. Doyle Murray. No, the Murray who plays the mayor. Joel. <laughs> no, he's a madman. Brian Doyle Murray. <laughs> we're, we're getting nowhere with this. We're getting nowhere fast. I don't know their names. I just know their <laughs> characters. For Fulakal, were you able to watch um, anything to sort of instruct you on the method and means of acting? I read my book every day. You, Your acting school was the Holy Bible. Absolutely. It's got everything you need in there. Like what? Words. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, stories. Yep, yep. Lessons and rules. So just so we know two things about you now. We know that you can read, and we know that you're able to discern story from the Bible. That's two really you, critical things. You know, I live in basements. Yes. <laughs> you know, there may be other people there. Yes. That's less pertinent to whether or not you can act, but it's part. It's part of your whole. Well, deal. I acted like I liked it. <laughs> So you didn't like it? I'm not allowed to say. What oversight do you think this third party has over your life that you can't say in the middle of an audition whether or not you were in trouble down there? It's the thing is they have a direct line to God. So <laughs> if God's around, which they always are, then this, you know, people are going to find out. That'd be a big get. There are a lot of people in this town who'd love to have a direct line with God. Uh, 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 okay, I'm seeing a sniper sight train on you, I think you we should move on about my personal yep. life. Makes a lot of sense for uh, Falakal. For Falakal... Yes? Um, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Do you have any experience getting your hair cut? You have really long hair. We would get a cut every three years. <laughs> Jesus. Every three years. Mm -hmm. Now, Lucky. would you get to... Would you leave Ladies the basement to, to get this haircut? We got him. No, the scissors would come down, and it was, you know, a free-for-all with the scissors, and most people chose to cut their hair, and other people took a different route. And what was the different route taken? I think we shouldn't talk about my personal life, but let's You're just say a lot you of brought lives. It up. You brought a lot it up. of lives are lost. How many people... How many people were in this freaking basement for Falakal? I am not allowed to say a number, okay. but let's just say I wasn't really able to move my arms further than this. Oh my, God. you're packed in there like freaking sardines. Okay, yeah. good to know. All right, well, you're reading for the part of Gorbo. 
Oh, cool. We have our, uh, celebrity attachment. Oh, here we have Let's a celebrity see. attachment. Let's see if you've worked with them or know about them for Verlockle. Ah, it's Big Titty Wario. <laughs> it's Wario, but he's caked up. In the front. <laughs> Are you familiar with Wario? Did you get the video games down there? I didn't there? know that was the name, but I have had that dream. <laughs> You're lot. telling me, independent of playing any Nintendo title, yeah. you've had a dream about that man with large breasts. Yes. Every night. Every night? I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. Many ancient cultures uh, have depicted Big Titty Wario. It travels through myth. It's like the Wheel of Time and Dragons. <laughs> this is how you know. Well... That's how you know. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you've got the, yeah, you've got the unibrow there. Well, Furfalaco. That's my third eye. Furfalaco, we're gonna jump into this scene. What's the location and tone of this scene? I don't know. Oh, it's Vegas. I'm not. I wasn't talking to you, Furfalaco. <laughs> okay, well you're looking at me. Oh, wait, uh, <laughs> it's hard to take my eyes off you, Furfalaco. Because I'm so gorgeous. No, because there are about a hundred flies swarming all over you right now. Well, yeah, that too. They're green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they key right out. Yeah, <laughs> they key right out. Right out. And this, and the shotgun mic we have right over your head is cutting out the sound of them. They're co it's cacophonous. Yeah. I can't hear anything other than the flies. Sorry. It's uh, Vegas and it's noir. Great. Oh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So now, in 1940, Vegas was a little different. 1940. Five. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. Are you I off book, just... by the way? I don't leave anywhere. Not that book. <laughs> not the book. Are you off the script? Are, do, do you know all the lines of the script? I got my script right here. You're going to just quote directly from the Bible during our read? Is that what's happening? I'm going to know the lines. <laughs> okay, <laughs> terrific. Awesome. Really great. So this is the scene where Gorbo mm -hmm. and Barbara, who was going to be played by Charles Melton, Barbara and Gorbo Who's are, that now? We don't know. I want that. <laughs> Give me that. You want to read for the part of Barbara now? I want to read for both. Well, you can't play both parts. Well, Why not? I see a green screen. We can CGI that shit. You seem to know a lot about the behind-the-scenes process of making a movie. Yeah, I'm not a fucking idiot. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Thank you. I apologize. I do. Anyway. Okay, I, I think we can give it a try. You can be a sort of a Peter Sellers-esque yeah. person. Okay. Do you think you could, okay, could you do a, a different voice than the one you're doing right now? Can you show us your vocal range? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Let's have that be Gorbo, since they talk a little less. Okay. Oh boy, all right, well. So we're gonna jump into the scene. This is the scene where Gorbo and Barbara are looking for a new place to set up barbershop. <laughs> and it's gonna be in Las Vegas. And it's going to be like a noir because it's 1945, and that's what movies were like. Yes. Okay, you don't have to do the voice until we're in the scene. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I like your enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're fun. I'm method. Yeah, <laughs> terrific. Okay, so we're going to jump into the scene. Now let's get the slate out here. And action. <laughs> Okay, for falafel, what was that? <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, cut. Hold on, cut. Cut. <laughs> Sorry. For falafel, I noticed that you barked like a dog. Yeah. At the, it was at the, the noise. Slate. It was the noise. Did it remind you of a door knock, like someone knocking on a door? I. It reminded me of the of, of the snapping. Set you right off, huh? Yeah. Sorry. It's just a, you know when the snapping is happening you want to make as much noise as possible so so that way you're not weak well you're not you i understand you're not the first actor who's gotten a little startled when we do the slate so let's get the slate dampener out here let's get the slate dampener okay thank you so that we don't spook the talent thank you so much postmates oh what's that i have postmates for somebody uh-huh what'd you bring uh it's a hamburger oh did you order postmates now hold on a second why didn't you bark <laughs> I told the snapping. Someone was just knocking at the elephant doors of the studio. It wasn't a knock. I said oh, it was, it was a snap. A okay, I'm sorry. Train, I see. I'm sorry. Oh, hold Thank for you. train. Hold for train. Hold for train. Hold for train. No, no, no. Stop. No, no, no. That 
was incredible. Anyone dead? Any PAs dead? Are we okay? Is everybody all right? Just two. Okay. Okay, all right. that's not bad for the day. Let's Have you ever in. edged death? <laughs> like in sleepers? Speak on that. I've never seen that one. <laughs> it's like where they like stop breathing so they can die for a second. Are you? It's like cool. Are you asking me if I? I've never heard of this concept. What were you talking about? What were you talking about? What I just experienced for the first time. Of Woody Allen. <laughs> That felt uh, amazing. Were you death gooning? Do you death goon? Is that? I guess if that's what that was. You're a rich text. We got the for uh, falafel. We Thank got the you. Slate dampener. Okay, let's get the slate dampener in there. I got my hamburger. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's go. Thank you. Oh, Gorbo, it's me, Barbara. Here we are on the Las Vegas Strip, just like it was in 1945. whereby ye shall inherit the land and ye shall inherit it. Can we get a wardrobe oh, change? Let's fly Thank in a wardrobe you. change for Furfalakal and let's keep the scene going while the wardrobe change is coming. But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand and let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. <laughs> That's right, Gorbo. That does look like a vacant building where we could set up shop. It doesn't seem to have any chairs for barbering, but we could find some chairs. <laughs> How hard could it be to rustle up some chairs? What do you think, Gorbo? And all the princes and the mighty men and all the sons, likewise the King David, submitted themselves unto Solomon the king. <laughs> Good point. I see chairs left and right. Someone must have dumped a bunch of a bunch of chairs, and what do you know? They look big and cushy. And what's this? I could put my foot on the side and raise the damn chair up for the sake of giving uh, I don't know what just yet. Is your line for Falakal. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And cut. <laughs> For Falako. I have a small note. Yeah, what's up, Chief? The lines. Mm hmm. What about them? Well, they weren't the ones that are in the script. That's uh, depending on what script you're talking about. Yup. What about the scripture? Yup. About time. Do we have the uh, wardrobe change? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll take that one. It's looking like a second robe and the very you same want, hat, just want, a little darker. Okay, um, you, yeah, sure, sure, floor. that'll play. Yeah, that's on the floor. <laughs> uh, Lockle, the floor's very close to where I am. Perfilaco, we don't believe here in Hollywood uh, of, of sort of um, being denigrating to any particular subset of faith-based worship. Um, but at the same okay. time, but at the same time, <laughs> This is a movie about barbers. Yeah. And you're reading from uh, what? The Song of Solomon? What are you reading? That was Revelations, brother. Revelations. All right. Come on, dude, keep up. Okay. Yeah, where's your head at? Well, let's see what the producers think. Let's see what the producers what think. What was that? Huh? What was that? What do you mean? What was that? No, get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. What was that? What do you mean? What was it? What was that? What, just in my, in my right what here? What is that? What ah, is that? I don't know. It's, some, it's a shadow or something. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're getting a lot of a lot of people saying that they think it's great. Okay, well then what's the problem? I guess nothing. Let's it's go. Been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I've uh, been part of the casting process, so maybe I'm in the wrong here. Uh, someone's saying more bibble. Perfect. Um, someone's saying different voice for the love of God. Okay. You told me to do a voice. I thought it was great. I, the voice was the best part as far as I'm concerned. It looks like there's two different opinions happening here. I know. Yeah. No backseat drivers. But uh, we do want to get the notes from the producers at home who are Skyping in. Oh, um, someone would like for you to sound like Yoshi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! 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 
It's just it. it's just like Yoshi. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, I thought you were making movies in here, not playing Mario Party. Uh, no, you made a small mistake. One of what our is actors it? is doing an impression of Yoshi, the dinosaur. Get, get out of town. What? I know. It sounds just like him. Get out of town. Well, can I play that part? Yoshi? <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't have Yoshi currently in the script. <laughs> We'll see what we can do. Let right me apart. Maybe uh, Yoshi kills Hitler. I'm texting Bombok now. Noah Bombok <laughs> is doing punch up. I love everything. He does punch up for all of our movies. Okay, well, for Falako, I think we have room for one more read. Okay. And so we're gonna stick with the Yoshi impression. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. Um. I like it. That. I'm not. Yeah. Yoshi, I'm Yoshi. <laughs> Should we roll on this? This is gold. Hi, it's, wow, I'm in, it's important to note that 40% of the spoken lines of the script are spoken by this character, so. <laughs> I'm high. I'm high. You're high? Okay. Okay. Let's, yeah, okay. All right, we're going to jump back into the scene. Let's do another reading, okay? Yes, sir. And action. Oh, Gorbo, it's here on the Las Vegas trip that will set up our shop. Are you ready to do surgery? I don't know. I feel like there might be something else I want to do with this two-bit life of mine now that I'm back from the war. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with the cloud, and the rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the earth, and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth, and when he had cried seven thunders under the voices. Good eye, Gorbo. That does look like a lounge singer over there. He, <laughs> he'd be a big hit if only his hair was a little shorter. I wonder if there's something we could do for that young lad. <laughs> What's his name? And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. In the amount of time it took you to say that line, I've gone over and asked that fellow's name. His name's Frank Sinatra. He's saying that if his hair were just a little bit shorter, he'd be a big star. What could we do? <laughs> I'm only used to putting people's arms back on with a razor. What could I do with this razor other than put people's arms back on during war? <laughs> For Falakal, I think any page will do. Still rolling. Okay. I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. And cut. You're getting Christian Adam Sandler vibes from that right now. Are Matt and Trey in here? We're trying to do some ADR. No, she misunderstood. The folks, the uh, creative uh, voices behind the hit cartoon South Park are not here. It's just an actor named Furfalako. She's in a basement. She was in a basement for a while. I'm not going to ask for that. I'm they them. Yes, sorry about that. Yes, they were in a basement for a while. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah, thank Furfalako. Furfalako's they them. Furfalako's they them. Good. I'm sorry. Yes, my, my, my apologies. Furfalako. lore channel. <laughs> yes, that, that's the lore channel. Um, so, is Furfalako getting the part? Let's Personally, see. I think yes. If anything, if they don't work out in the role itself, we can have a, a sort of a an onset preacher. First of all, I have to say there is no Genesis 330. Sorry. 33 is what I meant. The Mountain Goat song. Oh, Genesis 33. Let's see what it says. And she said, Behold my maid, Belha, go on to her, and she will bear upon my knees that I may also have children by her. That's interesting. Yeah, the song's better. Sorry. What's it about? It's about love. <laughs> so the fucking the maid and not the wife? Uh, yes. Hot. <laughs> Furfalakal, is the earth round or flat? The earth isn't real. Ever heard of simulation theory? 
So you're a devout Christian who also believes in simulation theory. I never said anything about being a Christian. I guess you didn't, did you? No. Nope. You just have that nice book. So wait. So the. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of my family. Um. So is that to you just like a book of fiction that you're holding there? No, it's just. Why doesn't why does everything have to have a category? I guess it's true. What the you hell? Know, what is up with that? When people begin to speak of true and false, the Tao is lost. Period! <laughs> <laughs> Say that! Speak on that! Let's give one of these, huh? With this. Yeah, it doesn't matter if that's, that doesn't make sense spatially. It's, no, you climbed, you ran over. I ran, uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I, I, I sprinted over in my, uh, what's the little, what's the name of the little scooter? The, the... <laughs> In the scooter. scooter. No, no, with like the... Um, lime. Lime scooter. Yeah, the la lime scooter. Yeah, absolutely. I scooted over there in the lime scooter. Woo! Well, congratulations. You got the part. Yes! I'm going to free... All, with all the money, I'm going to free all my brothers and sisters. <laughs> well, we could have helped you with that before. It wasn't dependent on whether you got the part. I'd be willing to... Yeah, but now that I signed this contract, it makes every other contract null and void, and now I'm free and I can speak on what has been happening. You were in the basement under contract? So what's been <laughs> happening? They just put us in there. Oh, damn. Who is they? Who is they? What are you talking got about? It, got it, got it. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Who is they? Are we safe from they? <laughs> if it's their parent or something, if it's their parent or something, then whatever. But if it's somebody, ah, oh, get off it. Okay, all right, okay. So, hey, we're halfway through the casting process, which means one thing. It's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's the Enskers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's, the, it's the, uh, the time of year, once a year, where all of Hollywood's biggest stars get together in the same room to throw gold at the best of the best. And the Enskers is no exception. Here we go. We're going to go to the Enskers. In the, uh, oh, what's this? We're going to tune in right as they're giving away the awards for Best Supporting and Best Leading Actor. Sounds like a really fun evening. Let's see who's going to walk away with the top goal and the top prize in the show. In the show. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I just think it's going to be a really good time for everybody. And now presenting the award for Best Supporting Actor, Kylie Rilo. Hi everybody. Hi. Thanks so much. Uh, I just want to say before we announce the category, my, my co-star uh, was not nominated for Best Actress and I, I just think that is a travesty. Uh, 
A lot of people told me not to say anything. A lot of my close friends said, it's just some girl, don't worry about it, who cares? Uh, they said, who gives a shit? It's just some lady in the dumb award. And I just want to say, I do care. Let's get into it. <laughs> <clears throat> Our first nominee in the category of Best Actor Supporting. A gruesome transition <laughs> that many worried he would never come back from. For Anime Pikachu, Paul Giamatti. <laughs> A troubled figure, controversial till the very end, but played with grace. Nardwar by Paul Giamatti. A caked up hero, <laughs> different than the first guy, Peter Griffin Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> from the brilliant Jim Giamatti, his brother. <laughs> A crazed villain with a heart of gold. <laughs> For Ernest meets Gengar. <laughs> Gengar, played by my fr my friend Jeremy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy Renner. <laughs> sorry, sorry. A madman, <laughs> hellbent, <laughs> hellbent on giving an entire country a controversial vaccination. <laughs> Barack Obama, <laughs> played by, and I'm just gonna read this here, Michael Jordan. <laughs> and finally, a desperate vigilante taking no prisoners. Jonk's Planet Resident Evil 3 World, <laughs> played by Robbie Ratcliffe. <laughs> and the winner is, this is how you know it's not rigged, because I would have picked my boy Jeremy. Robbie Ratcliffe. <laughs> Robbie, come on up. Accept your award. Give a little speech. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's so good oh, to man. see you. What a blight. What here, a blessing. Here, here, I'm going to come over here. This guy. First first I'm not going to give a shit. I do whatever I want. This is the best day of my life. I'm going to do whatever, <laughs> day my life. I'm gonna do whatever <laughs> it is. I'm going to hug everybody. Everybody get. Everybody gets a hug. Oh, mercy. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I just woke up. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> this has been the, the honor of my life to serve this country in the best, in the in the greatest, uh, greatest country on earth. I've served uh, a lot of different countries over the years. It's been uh, this has been by far uh, the longest. Uh, the the route that I took here was, was took me through over many paths, many paths, and we took the paths. With, uh, uh, with blood rushing through our hearts. We took the paths with uh, the legs that just wouldn't stop growing. We took the paths. With, this is, of course, Robert Frost, he said this. Frost says he took the legs without, he took the legs off and he kept, and, he, and uh, so it's important for everybody to say uh, that my wife uh, died of natural causes and uh, I haven't touched a single, I haven't touched a single person since then. Natural causes, folks. We all heard it here, okay? <sighs> all right, we've got to get into our next category here. It's best actor, lead. Normal, regular, for like a for like the big role. A lot of people, and I just want to again bring this up because it's getting lost in the weeds of this night. You know, we just had 
Robbie admit that his wife died of natural causes. So I just want to double down on this. My co-star should have been nominated. I don't care that she's a woman. I'm going to say that. I don't care that she's a woman. I'm going to defend her because I'm a hero. And that's for you to say. That's for you to say. I'm sitting on my hands out of protest. No, listen. Okay. She deserved it. Despite all the evidence. All right. Let's get into it. Ahem. <clears throat> A fun, silly guy having a great day at the park. For Six Flags presents Six Flags the movie, sponsored by Six Flags, the old guy, played by holographic George Burns. Yes, we all know what's going on in this image. We can all see so clearly Hank Hill with a couple other cartoons behind them, and they're wearing a weird jacket, it looks like. This is probably a reference to a different media that I don't know. You should read the card. All oh, right, I'm sorry. Uh, for his brave performance as Hank Hill from that other media, Hank Hill played, but Hank Hill, but different version, played by P Peter Griffin. Okay, interesting, interesting. <laughs> All right, your next. A tired little guy Aww. trying to make ends meet in the big city <laughs> when all he wants to do is take a little nap. The Sleepy Time Tea Bear, played by Rodney Dangerfield. Wow. Can't get no respect and can't take a little nap sometimes. Mm -hmm. Two brothers, kind of like four brothers, the Mark Wahlberg movie, where they're in Detroit and they all love that old woman. Sorry, I'm reading the title of the movie. For, for the character of Scuffed Mario, Jeremy Piven. Yeah, he's back. He's back! <laughs> My guy Jeremy is back! Can't keep a good man down. Uh, oh Alright. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Uh. That's right. Some of our greatest actors can also just sometimes play a cute little guy. And that's no different in Cats, not the musical, a different type of movie. <laughs> For the main cat. Played by Matt Besser of the UCB <laughs> Theater. Give him his flowers. About time. I mean weed. Yes, yes. Walk hard hero. Oh. And of course, for their brave portrayal as a dead person named Cindy Dolezal. Cindy Dolezal played, and I'm going to say that one more time, Cindy Dolezal played by Cameron Farmer. And the winner is, come on, Jeremy, come on, Jeremy, come on, Jeremy. Cameron Farmer for Cindy Dolezal. Congratulations, yeah, congratulations. You. You're looking great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you so much. Um, it's such a pleasure to have just been nominated, <laughs> let alone win. Um, I'm just so proud of my parents for making me and getting to have that um because they're pieces of shit so it's good they have one good thing going for them which is me um i like to thank the academy yeah um just for uh them having you know brains but not having a podium big enough to ha ha contain my feet um <laughs> And I just, yeah, I think that movies are going to save the world. And um, roles like this are just a part of doing that. And when I was asked to play Cindy Dolezal, I said, I don't even know what that 
who that is or what that could even mean but I but I I said I'm gonna take it on for my whole heart and I'm not I'm not gonna let the road take me so thank you thank you and good night and and remember to eat the fucking rich and and remember remember to break the fucking system <laughs> One more thing. No, no. One more thing. I love. <laughs> oh, wow. Incredible, incredible, Cameron. Thank you. Um, all right. That's going to do. Oh. Oh, my, oh God. my God. we've been getting for that bumper. I've been getting a lot of notes about that bumper. And I feel like at some point we should do something about maybe the, the length of this. Screen. My son made it. Your son made it. My son made that bumper. Ah, well, we have to support our family. Do you have a problem with my son? La Familia is total. In okay. This <laughs> so I, I, we'll, let it, we'll let it slide this one time. But maybe we could get some more screaming just to sort of vary it up. Okay. Hearing a lot of women and, and men, grown men screaming, maybe we could get some, you know, some, some children screaming. You could maybe. only find women and grown men. Ah, okay. Maybe just more of them. Maybe just get more of them in there, more of them screaming. Okay. I'll give my son that note. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, hi everybody, we're back. It's, uh, it's me, Quint Rectangle, of the Kennebunk Court Rectangles. I'm very excited to be back here finishing up this casting process for Small Town Barbers, a movie about when barbers transition from their role as surgeons to their role as barbers. So, should be pretty fun to get these last few roles cast. We originally cast Charles Melton as Barbara, but he walked. And then we got uh, Furfo Laco <laughs> as Gorbo. They're going to have a lot to say about God on set, which is always exciting. Uh, and I think what we need now is the, the sort of villain of the you picture. They decided to leave. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. There's really nothing we can do to deter you, can we? There's really nothing we can do to stop you from your course of action with regard to the I puns. I decide to stop, too. Uh, <laughs> 
yeah. I wouldn't bank on it. <laughs> the sideburn. <laughs> Well, I mayn't be deceiving you when I say I hate what you're doing. <laughs> what? I mayn't be, what like may not, mean? mayn't, what? may what? not, what are you talking about? I may not be deceiving what? you, I may not be <laughs> deceiving you oh when I say I hate what you're doing. So, I don't understand. all right, we need the name of the next character. Now, this is the villain, okay? Now, of course, everybody knows there's a barber's union. And it's been around since time immemorial. They've organized barbers around the world. Now, the leaders of this union are a pretty calcified bunch. They would hate to find out from some ragtag barber on the Las Vegas Strip that they're thinking about transitioning from doing surgeries to doing haircuts. So the leader of this union, the president of this union, is going to come in and try to try to stop all this all this activity from happening. All right, they're going to try to stop these mean old barbers. Who, we're, who are actually the heroes of the movie. They're gonna try to stop them from transitioning into haircut. Yeah. Into haircut. That was a Sorkin note. Yeah. Sorkin said we have to stop them from transitioning. And we said, <laughs> and, and, we, and, we, and we clarified like, uh, Aaron, this is not, had nothing to do with that stuff. And he said, maybe we could, maybe it could be. Maybe it could be. <laughs> nothing to do with any of that business. Any of that business, you know? Okay. I'm the good guy. I'm the good guy in that story. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the good guy in that story. So let's try to do our best to get the name of this next character. Buzz Culler. That's pretty good. Or Buzz Quiller. I get it. Like Buzz Killer, but different. Cutter Carve. Steuben Duke. Buzz Buckets. Buzz Buckets. Buzz Buckets. Buzz Buckets is great. Everybody, there was a big pop for Buzz Buckets. So we're gonna go with Buzz Buckets. All right, Buzz Buckets. So um, let's get this next actor in here and we'll get the tone and location of the scene and then we'll hop right in. But first, let's get to meet the actor. Hi there, yeah, right there, there's your mark, perfect. There we go. Yes, excellent. <laughs> uh, just uh, a, little a little to your, a little further back. A little further back. And then go. a little to your left. There we go. That's perfect. Hi there, what's your name? That's uh, me, Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> I think I'm the U.S. Secretary of Transportation. <laughs> Thank you for your service, sir! Let's go! Now, Mr. Buttigieg, what's like up? you said, you're the Secretary of Transportation. Yeah, what's up, King? <laughs> so you've decided to transition to acting. Right. What prompted that decision? Well, we got, uh, fur we got a furlough coming up. We could assume that there's going to be a government shutdown uh, figure. you got to, you know, everything. Doomsday is always three months out if you're living the kind of life I live. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> You gotta live three months out. You gotta make sure you got everything, all your cards stacked up three months out. Yeah, you've been saying that a lot in various press conferences, and it's really hurt Biden in the polls, you know? Who? <laughs> no, President just, Biden, hey, your boss. Hey, I'm just kidding. You know who that is? <laughs> He's funny! He's funny. Shut the fuck up! Sorry. Oh, sorry. By the way, was that Chase and I saw crying in the parking lot? Jeez. Who? Chase and booted your husband. I ain't never been married. <laughs> it was kind of a big part of your biography. It's Chastin. Oh, Chastin, sorry. Is, was that Chastin crying in the parking lot? But I guess, I guess you've never been married, so it doesn't matter. Um, Mr. Buttigieg, I, I, I guess I never fancied you an actor. I never thought of you as being a thespian at yeah. home. Have well, you wanted to act for a long time? I've been acting for a long time. Uh, I got a job acting uh, early on. Early on. You tried to fix your I... collar and did nothing. <laughs> you just made the motion to fix your collar, and it accomplished exactly nothing. It Listen, looks exactly the same. Keep, if you keep talking like that to me, I'm going to come up there, and I'm going to smack those fucking glasses off your face. <laughs> we'll do it. He's a her. He served. I'm the Secretary of Transportation, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll transport those su fucking sunglasses right. Oh my god, are you? <laughs> wait, are you the, are you the transporter? Is that you're kind of giving transporter right now in terms of your whole vibe? Five, four. No, oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was rough, man. <laughs> I almost didn't make it. <laughs> Mr. Buttigieg. What's up? 
I guess I'm willing to give you a shot, but you're you're supposed to be playing a villain here, and I think a lot of people understood you to be a pretty straightforward, straight-laced guy. Yeah, I'm a pretty straightforward, straight-laced guy. <laughs> I'm the Secretary of Transportation. I've uh, built roads and bridges and uh, Did you? tunnels. Is that what your job is? Yeah, that's this with the Secretary of Transportation. A uh, straightforward, straight-laced kind of guy. I built roads, bridges, and tunnels throughout this great country. I have uh, served my country in various things. I'm not married. Oh, a, huh? Hold for train, Hold on, everybody. Everybody. Hold for train. Hold for train. I made that train. <laughs> <laughs> I made that sound. Right before. Make that. No, hold on, Jim. You right. know, I just want to say something to you, which is that the trains don't are usually silent. And then I came along and I said, they should make a sound, <laughs> so people knows they're coming. Around when did that happen? Because I've been along. <laughs> That's what you sound like to me. <laughs> people in this business are nasty. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> they say, "Look you up." Good, man. <laughs> I already have water. Uh, acting class, they always say, look up. What acting class have you taken? The act, they tell you, the acting class, they say you got to look up so that people, the, the energy's coming out. It's going in a hoop over the audience outside. <laughs> Great. Well, you, you're definitely projecting. That's terrific. That's good. Um, you said you made that train as well. Did you? I mean, what does that involve? I mean, did you? Iron. Uh, uh, <laughs> it takes a lot of iron. Take some fire. Get these uh, big old spigots of. Uh, How spigots. many other people are helping you build this train? Six or seven people build a train. <laughs> um, iron, plastic, rubber. I want to say glass. <laughs> Now, the trains haven't had the best safety record. In, under your, in fact, I'd say under your purview, train accidents have increased dramatically. There's like never been a worse time to be the Secretary of Transportation. <laughs> Speak on that. Nobody wants to do this job. I came in, I says, give me the job. And they gave it to me. And then all the trains fell off. <laughs> And they says, you're not doing the right job. And I says, find someone else to do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. My plane had an overnight delay in Austin. That sucks, man. <laughs> Where are you? Are you are you that way or are you that way? I'm that the first way. It's the first way. Yeah. Wait, wait. That was the first way it was so that we, way. Look, you see, see this camera right here? Right. That's what we're looking through when we're looking at you. See that? Get that? You see yeah. this is like they got the recording? So thing? when I come to kick your ass, I'm coming that way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You'll have to try to figure that one out spatially in order to pull that off and make it look real. I ain't got that kind of time. <laughs> okay. Well, that feels great. So, did we get the tone and location for this scene? Not even a little. Yeah. Awesome. Really great. Perfect. Why don't you ask me some? Uh, why don't you ask me some more questions? Okay. Don't you want to be president? No. <laughs> That's you a stupid question. <laughs> you ran for president. No, I didn't. Several times. No, yeah, more than once you ran for president. You think I ran more than once? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Am I crazy? Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. Okay. Well, you ran for president once. I'm sorry. I just can't like listen to you speak anymore. It's just like driving me crazy. What do you do? What is what is your job? I'm the casting director for the movie. I decide whether you get the part. So you get to decide if I make the. You're gonna be up on on. You're gonna be on the sidelines when I'm trying to do my job. And like I'm reading the scene with you. I'm reading the scene with you. I'm helping you. you. That's what you sound like to me. It's a nasty business. Fix your voice. Son of a bitch. Okay. All right. <laughs> I've worked with some pretty prickly fellas before. You know, I've, I've worked with some real... I'm a teddy bear. <laughs> Who said so? Let me tell you a story, all right? <laughs> Flashback to the year 2005. There I was, standing in the cold, dark night, alone on the street. All the street lamps going off one after the other, turning off, then back off, and then back on. 
is a weird system. But I stuck my ground and I stabbed a guy. <laughs> Whoa! I feel like I'm getting better at acting right now. Just hearing this. Did you, you just got, confess you got, to a murder? You got a lot of friends in this building? <laughs> Sorry? You got a lot of friends. I have a lot of coworkers who I'd like to think of my friends. You yes. look like you got a lot of friends. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Trying to wear me out. Should I call? Should I talk to the authorities? Should, I mean, about the stabbing. Who are you gonna talk to? I'm the Secretary of Transportation. I, the police. Who would believe? The you? police. Yeah. This goes all the way up. <laughs> I think there are a lot of district attorneys who would who would hear this case out. No, listen. Okay. No, your stomach hurt. Mine? Yes. Yeah, your stomach hurt? Not at the moment. No. Well, it's gonna. You sprinted into that one rectangle. <sighs> Why did you hand me this? Is this for my head? For the beating you're taking right okay, now. Okay. All right. Well, look. I'm trying to be professional, Pete, mm. and I gotta tell you. This, this back and forth, as much and as I'm your, willing... What, what is it you do? <laughs> I'm the casting director here at this company. Okay. You're, you're auditioning for a role with me. You're going to be reading for the role of... <laughs> Should have been like this during 2020. <laughs> Where was this on the campaign trail? There's a 51st state. <laughs> and I won that state. What's the name of the state? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Somebody should know. It's Lionel. Lionel? Anyway, this scene takes place in hell, mm. and the tone is uh, children's. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> You've been there? I'm sorry? I said I've been to hell. Metaphorical hell or literal hell? I'm living there right now. Mm-hmm. 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 America. What did you say? <laughs> Somebody... Casting director said it. Casting director said what? it. No, I didn't say anything. He's Joe Biden to me. Who? I, I, yeah, you didn't know who that was earlier anyway. You didn't even know who that was earlier anyway. You're just throwing all these names at me. I don't know. What What's the tone? Kids movie. Kids movie. Great. Awesome. So, oh my God. God, I'm stressed out. Do you need a second before we, before we do the scene? Oh, man. Oh, okay. You're looking, you look so sweaty. You look oh. really moist. Did you take something before you came out here? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do right. you, what do you get? Are you getting ready to slate? Scene. That's not, no. <laughs> so we have a slate. We're going to bring it All in. Right. Uh, am, I, am I trying to do your job for you? Oh, yeah, that's you a, were. That's yeah. a union man right there. Yes. Right. You're reading for the part of it. Should we talk about the take, scene? You're we're taking gonna... good care of you here. <laughs> I get paid. Yeah, you got paid? Yeah. yeah. I got I got a new suit. I ain't afraid of nobody. <laughs> um scene. I can't just sprint it out of here. Oh, Buzz Buckets. It's me, Barbara. I'm here in hell. We're getting ready to face off over the fact that you don't want me to cut people's hair. What do you have to say about that? I'm sorry. What the hell's happening back there? <laughs> That's the green screen. We're using that to simulate the scene on the day. Still rolling. All right, still rolling. Stay Bring in it in. Rectangle. Bring it in. Bring it in. Stay in the rectangle. Buzz, Buzz Buckets, you think you're you think you're gonna stop me from cutting people's hair? Well, you got another thing coming, Buzz Buckets. Buzz Buckets. That's your name. That's my name. Yep. I can't stop you, but I can love you. I can love you as hard 
or as soft as you need. I can love you in the morning, I can love you in the daytime, I can love you at lunchtime, I can hold you close, I can whisper it, I can shout it. But let me tell you something. Just put lay another hand on those scissors. My head's gonna fall off. <laughs> and roll on the floor. And out the door. And down the street. Well, Buzz, it's been... <laughs> well, Buzz, it's been a long-ass time since somebody's made love to me enough to make my freaking toes curl. You're saying, that, saying about that? And that's just about the only thing that will make me put these scissors down for good. Such a cruel son of a bitch. <laughs> Takes two to tango, Buzz. Well, I can't. You know I can't do that. It's all about the kissing. Why couldn't we try, Buzz? We could. Give it your best shot. <laughs> and if you can't make me come to my toes, girl, <laughs> then I'll simply have to start giving people fades. <laughs> If I wasn't standing, if I wasn't standing at the back of this room, I'd be standing at the front of this room, and I would put my head through that window. Which window? There are four windows. Point at the window. You you made a motion with your hand as if you put it through every window. Are we still on the scene? Or yes, we are. Yeah. You don't remember? Aren't you off book? Cold back here. Cut. <laughs> cut. cut. Woo! Per me personally, I think that was terrific. Pete, you've got the face of an actor and the work of an actor. You get, you can what? act really good. <laughs> no, I've always thought that I would be great as chair of the uh, Commission of the Arts there in the White House. You're be in the federal office building? Yes. Yeah. That's I've always thought House. that I would be great at sort of, uh, you know, curating a selection of artistic programs throughout the United States for kids to do. Yeah. You got a party, party membership card? With the Democratic Party? Let's see. Of course I do. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. I'm holding it up. Can't do nothing for you. No. <laughs> and why not? Well, I just don't like you. <laughs> Never have. They told me. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, we got him. We have, a, we have a celebrity attached, Pete. <clears throat> Pete, there's going to be an, another big name actor here in this production for you. Nice. Another nice. name. Let's see if you can pull it off. Okay, let's see who it is. One Do we have? Okay. Now, Pete, you've uh, rubbed elbows with Hollywood bigwigs. Absolutely. Is there a particular actor who you'd love to work with? Mel Gibson. Mm -hmm. Now, Pete. <laughs> yeah. Some people would say that's a risky thing to say. Some people would maybe say. I can bring him back. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg can fix it. You? I can fix it. I can fix him. Many have tried. Um, uh, let's take a look mm. at the co-star who's attached. Ah, oh, it's... Nice. <laughs> it's Nancy Reagan. Nancy. A.K.A. the throat good of Hollywood. She used to slob on many a knob. <laughs> hey. Show some respect. You're right. I'm sorry. Pete, I've noticed both of your collars are now askew. <laughs> I wanted to look like those uh, Hank Hill people. <laughs> pretty sure that was Naruto. Was that it? Was a Naruto? <laughs> pretty, sure, pretty sure this is you. Pretty sure that was Naruto. <laughs> Why can't I have that job? What do you mean, my job? No, the job where I just. I was pretty sure that was Naruto. 
You're referencing my job. You're yeah, saying, you why job. don't you have my job? No, I want to do the job where I just get to follow you around all day <laughs> and make, sen- make the things that come out of your s- mouth sound stupid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would pay taxes for that. We got a W two free over yeah. here. Pete. Pete. <laughs> now you have to let me finish your sentence, Pete. <laughs> Pete, I feel I've been very, very hey. patient with you. <laughs> oh, oh, is that supposed to be me? I'm saying yeah. double four rectangles. <laughs> hey, uh, people, people in the people out there in the audience, they know that they can control the show. <laughs> what is it? What? What are you talking what? about? What do you mean? Shows comedy that you control. <laughs> now, what is the point you're trying to make here? I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, con- I'm a little confused. I'm not even here. <laughs> Can we get a wardrobe change? Thank you. Oh, okay. Somebody's reached the fourth wall breaking part of their clown performance. An important part of the process. What did you just call me? <laughs> it's it's an honorific. It's a it's a it's a nice thing to say to somebody here in Los Angeles. Oh, is it a nice thing you say to somebody? <laughs> Some of the best Wendy's spokespeople are clowns. <laughs> He's nice. He's really nice. I know. I, I think he's great. Oh, no, you don't. I do. I think he's terrific. Nobody wants any of this inside Hollywood jabber. <laughs> he's all right. I just got it. Are we talking about Bill? Yeah. yeah. We're talking about Bill. He's great. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I should have I should have stuck with progressive. Hey. Yeah, that's safe. That's safe. That's, that's, that's safe. That's green light. Hey, can we do a movie where I'm a drug dealer? <laughs> now, why? Now, why? Why? Do you have any sort of like special insight on that? I would do one of those. Was that things. what you were doing down in Africa with well, the CIA? I would, Pete? I, would, I, would do, I would do one of these. <laughs> Get it out of my face, though. <laughs> you know, Pete, um, some people would say to really disappear into a part, you should do an accent. Would you like to try to do I don't a think voice? you need accents. I think you need, like, more drug dealers. <laughs> I think your boss might disagree, but what do I know? We got Joe Biden. On Joe Biden. Paul, Paul Schrader? Paul Schrader's on the phone. Why is he on the phone? He's going to write a drug dealer role. Oh, he's great. A, Perfect. He's the president of the United States. Paul Schrader? Yeah. <laughs> the man who made Mishima Life in Four Chapters? He's the president of the United States? Yes. <laughs> the man who made the card counter is president of the United States? Yes. Why aren't you getting this? <laughs> I'm using. I'm. I'm. I'm expressing my incredulity. I'm a person. You know, nailed you your rectangle. ass. See? <laughs> they call you rectangle, but all I see is a square, man. Oh, you gonna take that sitting down, son? <laughs> you fight. Know, you know, my family died in a knife fight with the Square family back in 1927. <laughs> Seven members of my family. Yeah. Died in the street. You just make that up. <laughs> Yeah, sort of the name of the game here, Pete. Yeah. You smile a lot. It's because I'm enjoying rubbing elbows with such an important member of our political class. Yeah. Meet new people. That's a command. Meet new people? Yeah. Because no one here likes you. If only you knew how true that was, Pete. You're brand new, and yet you sussed out my whole deal really quickly. I want to be president so bad. So, okay, so you want to be president. Pete, Pete, let me tell you something. You're crushing in the room. If you did this on the campaign trail, I feel like you'd be a shoe in Guaranteed. All right. I had a co-star or something you wanted to do? Yeah. All right. Did we still want to do that? Or is oh, that- we got Nancy Reagan? Oh, all right. Yeah. What yeah, do I say? Yeah. So, oh, we got okay, it. Do we want to do another read? Let's do another read. Yeah. Do we have any notes for that first performance from Pete? From no the notes. producers? Well, <laughs> I like standing like this. 
That's perfect for a poster. Someone is saying more hand stuff. Mm. <laughs> We're getting more abusive. Um, and we need more yearning from you. Uh, okay. So more hand stuff, more yearning, and I guess more abusive to the but character. But I can be a drug dealer this time, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's his actor's secret. Though. Maybe your actor's secret is that your character is dealing drugs. The actor, the actor says, or the drug dealer is an actor. No, hold on. <laughs> the actor, the drug dealer looks at it. He's like, oh, I gotta kill you. Ah. Uh, Okay, let's get this right kill you. I think he's ready now. Hey boss, you get a phone call. You, you get a phone, phone call? call? No, no, you. <laughs> what did you think you were going to do, Pete? You just put your hand up to your hand like it was a telephone. It's government tech. Somebody's giving me shit about improv and he's doing fucking he's doing fucking object work. Hey, right? hello. Hey, security. Uh, I got a guy in the parking lot. He says his name's Chastin. He's blasting Sophie and vaping CBD oh, with the windows down. <laughs> he looks very sad. I asked, is he okay? He said, I'm not allowed to leave. He skipped right through the Mitski phase, huh? Yeah, oh. yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He said, I'm not allowed to leave. Uh, what, should I do something about mm. this? You want me to take care of this? See what you can do about blasting some Heim to turn that beat around. Okay, I'll try to out sad music him. I'll play Heim even no, louder. No, that's happy music. Play some happy music for I actually find it very emotional. When I'm listening to Heim, it actually allows me to go to a place No, you're right. We've got we've to split the difference. Get some Caroline Polachek out there, and then we'll... we'll <laughs> okay. Doing doing Sounds good, King. All right, I love you. Bye bye. Love you too. Smooches. Uh, <laughs> mm, you all should. Uh, <laughs> we've got our. We've got our finger shots and bullets over here. You guys should uh, tow the cars in your parking lot. <laughs> tow every car in the parking lot. There are a number there. of cars that are legally parked there. There are a number of cars that are parked there. When the transportation secretary says tow a car, you tow a car. I guess, yeah. Knock it off. What this guy works for a living. <laughs> are you... Were you defending me just now? Yeah. Pete. I see what you got on your shoulders. Pete. You got a golem on one side, and you got the devil on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Don't let, him, don't let him get you down, son. <laughs> Mr. Booty Judge, I'm 40 years older than you. But I, I respect your attempt to make me feel better, nonetheless. <laughs> Listen to the golem. <laughs> Listen to the golem? Yeah. That's the one that's made of, uh, like... Stone, yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, From Jewish folklore. No, yeah. I'm thinking of the other one. The uh, one that's made of mud and hair and blood. Mm -hmm. What's that one? The golem. It's the golem. Homunculus. Homunculus. Yeah, listen to the homunculus. <laughs> I think you're just like channeling D and D monsters now. I feel no, like you're huh? no. Okay. <laughs> uh, you strike me as a D and D kind of guy, Pete Buttigieg. Did you ever play Dungeons and Dragons? Man, I was a bartender. <laughs> Does that answer your question? And they fired me. <laughs> For what, Pete? Drinking. <laughs> On the job, Pete. That's what a bar's for. Or did you come in drunk? I came in drunk. <laughs> That's not good. I told you the story. I got. I went outside on the street. All the lights were turning on and off. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, and then you and up. then you stabbed a guy. Wow, we stabbed getting, a guy. Yeah. Incredible narrative storytelling, right now. You know, yeah. it's it's remarkable that you you excised all this from the journey home. You're on you're on a biography, Pete. I don't follow. You wrote, <laughs> Pete. You wrote a book about your life, and none of this was in it. Is it that one where all the power goes out and the dinosaurs get loose? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Crichton. That's Jurassic Park. A different They book. should make that into a movie. <laughs> they did it. Oh, they should make that into a movie. They should. People will go see that. Bro, People want to see that kind of thing. Everyone's bored. Pete, I've got some great news for you. You can go on Netflix right now and watch that movie. I ain't doing that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's fine. That's that's all. Hey, right. Someone should sub. We should the, sub the sub goal has been at six out of fifteen for like the last two hours. We didn't hit it. Someone people. should fix that. There's Tell nothing. Listen well, to the trick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on. There's, we got an election coming up. Pete, there's five. <laughs> Pete, there's five minutes left of the episode. Oh. We don't have time for to do to do a, a whole. It's just like oh, okay. 
But it was very thoughtful of you to say that. <sighs> Man, you know, sad. Laura. You know, Laura Dern is in that movie. Peep. In Jurassic Park. <laughs> I feel like you'd be into that. You just said it's seven fifteen. <laughs> I did it. See, that's why this country doesn't work. <laughs> Wait, did you say for Pete's sake? Is that what you said? Yes. I, okay, that's, that's awesome. Getting, that's awesome. Getting moving. You gotta get get mad, man. Get mad. Go crazy. <laughs> People want to see this. That was your campaign slogan, wasn't it? Yes. Get mad. Get, get mad, mad. Go crazy. Get mad. Go crazy. <laughs> but they only. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All We're right. Doing it. Pete, you mad man. We really don't have time. We don't. We do. Don't have time to do what? The, what the, you got like you got like a barber who's gonna come here and like cut all the wires in the building? <laughs> That's what this movie's about, right? <laughs> no. Remember when barbers cut the wires to buildings? <laughs> so I guess we have time. Our guests say that we have time. <laughs> See? There we go. Uh, That's how you make a hustle. Two more. That's how you hustle. Right. That's Sarah from Pittsburgh. All right. And with that, I think, and with that, I think we know where we're going. We're going to a press junket now, Pete. Yep. If you're not familiar, right. the way a press junket works is that a bunch of uh, cast and crew members from an upcoming film will sit down, and the uh, the people in the chat will ask rapid fire questions of them mm -hmm. in an interview style format. They'll have a minute and a half right. to answer as many questions as they can. Right. It's my show now. <laughs> not crap. I don't recall saying that. Oh. I <laughs> Sorry, suddenly a bunch of your uh, friends show up and sub to you? <laughs> nah, man. I don't think that gives you the right to just take over the program. I don't need rights. <laughs> Unless. What the hell is that? That's, you're running the show. <laughs> Pete, you run the show now. Show's called EGI2 now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pete, try to keep the cutting. Pete, trying to keep it cunning to a minimum. Wait, what's are that you picture just, of Nancy Reagan? Pete, are you just cycling through? <laughs> Riding a bike. Are you just cycling through all the? Are you just cycling through all the stuff? Hey, let's say let's thank can, you, yeah. thank let's you to the you. Academy for having us. We made it. We made the show. Yo, listen, Cammy works hard. That's the bumper. They can't Cammy's got uh, got a uh, lot of lot of mouths to feed. I have lots of mouths to feed. Well, with all the the uh, what is it called uh, when you uh, like get a body and you put a bunch of mouths in it with knife stabbing? Yeah, the stab wounds. We have a lot of stab wounds to get to. <laughs> This is a stabbing country. No, so I'm going to let you guys run the show, but I just want to give you a, a, just a bit of advice. I got if you it. go here, and then you go, we're going to, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the, no, 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 we want to go to the press junket. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go to the, uh, no, 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 not quite, no, not so close. It, we're going to want to go to the bumper. Here. Money. <laughs> Who said that we had time? Can I do the drug dealer movie? Yeah, yeah. Let's Jesus do that. Christ, Here, let me this. see. I'll do it. Oh, I just we just want to go to the bumper. Hey, you're doing all right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're doing. That. What's up, everybody? <laughs> we want to be here. Okay, we want to be here. We want to be here for I got it. I got it. I got it. 
Do we want to? Okay, we're gonna. Oh start? shit! I gotta be at the computer. <laughs> oh okay. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna guard oh, this. Okay. What's, your, can't talk what's your name? My <laughs> name is Far. What's your far, name? Far, 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 What's up? What's up, everybody? It's the press junket. What's um? Who's who's? Bart uh, Lockle, What did you do in the movie? I what? was the set d deck. Oh, I was um Pete Buttigieg, I'm Secretary of Transportation. You're not in the movie, Pete. You're not in this movie. No. What? Oh, what? No, you're what? in every. You wandered into the press junket, Pete. He's in every movie. Okay. What do you mean? Wait, what? I thought I was in the press junket. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Ask me a question. You get two seconds <laughs> before I end the show again. <laughs> Come on. Are you a fan of Garfield? How does that impact your roles? Yep, and in now. <laughs> they paid for this. <laughs> Why are you all center and out of frame? I end it. <laughs> you paid for it. You, did we, you, they paid for this. <laughs> did you do real yeah, drugs on camera? <laughs> <laughs> the end button. Yeah. <laughs> button. I did the see the new Gorbo movie and I really enjoyed it a lot. And I think that, okay, here's the thing. Can we talk about the Iron Claw? Yes. I loved it. I didn't see it. Which one? I cried the whole time. And I think they really fucked over Zac Efron. Mm. Oh, mm. True. I yeah. don't understand why the Academy can't get past somebody's past. It's not his fault he was on the fucking Disney Channel. It's not his fault he wants to be a DJ. Cameron. It's not his fault he was in a fucked up accident and fucked up his face and then he gave everything for this role and he killed it. Yeah. yeah. That really fucked up his face? Kind of up yeah, and then he got, I think he did more work for this role. Mm. But like, dude, what do you expect? So I feel about like Bud Court. Like he got a bad deal just because he got his face all fucked up. I think a lot of people. You just look like that. No, you had a motorcycle accident. I didn't know that. Yeah. Didn't stop Bob Dylan. <laughs> so what, Some what people did, are built different. Yeah, what did, that's uh, true. What did, uh, what, was, what did Zach Efron do before? High School Musical. No, but there was like another, another, another dramatic. Didn't have another dramatic. Movie? He tried to make like a serious movie about DJing, and everyone made fun of him for it. Okay, yeah. Pete. Yeah. Okay, Pete, sit. your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to adjust your mark slightly. Hits. I'm going to adjust your <laughs> mark slightly. All right. Sorry, I yeah. thought I was in that last movie, but I'm in this movie. How does it work? I'm just going to answer the question. Like yeah. All right. Do people want to see me do the drug dealer bit? Yeah. yeah. Can you do the drug dealer yeah. bit? Can you do the drug dealer bit? Oh, I'm going to kill you. Oh. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> People have questions uh, for this? Yep. Okay, so Pete is the earth What's your black. favorite flavor of sandwich? Is it what my favorite flavor of sandwich is? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, hot dogs. <laughs> how do you get into character? How do I get into character? I do drugs, I uh, stab one person. <laughs> At night, and uh, husband in the va in, is in the park parking lot. What are you? What are typical signs of liver fa failure? Typical signs of liver failure. Of course, you get the yellow skin. You get the eyes fall out. The <laughs> hands the hands go crazy, and eventually you um, become the secretary of transportation. What do you love about New York? What do I love about New York? Oh, you can't uh, you can't go a single block without seeing Robert De Niro. <laughs> Oh, true. Uh, best cereal for a facial. Best cereal for a facial? Ooh, that's a tough one. Oatmeal. One of those, uh, like, uh, what's a like, like a hemp granola? Yeah. Is being a mayor cool? Being a mayor is cool. Everybody comes to your uh, mayor to the office, and they give you their uh, spreadsheets, and then you throw them back in their face and then you say get the fuck out of here. Will you rename the US Transportation Office? Yes, I'm going to rename the US Transportation Office. I'm going to turn I'm going to say um, it's going to be we're going to name the US Transportation Office uh, Clockers a Spike Lee joint. <laughs>
Hell yeah. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the Everything Now Show. This show happens four times a week. It happens Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. It's going to sound crazy on the mic. Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but not this Saturday because we're going to be live at the Streamer Awards. Yay! We're nominated Yay! for a Streamo. <laughs> it's a big opportunity for us, so you should tune in. We're going to be live streaming it here from this channel, so you can hang out in the chat and wish us well, wish us luck, okay? Please. Um, but yeah, normally the show weekdays, it's from 7 to 9. Saturdays, it's from 6 to 8. You should make sure to follow and subscribe here on this channel if you're watching for the first time. And if you also want to be as fully involved with the show as possible, you have to join the Everything Now Show Discord, which is, there's a link there on the chat. Join the Discord. All of the images of the actors that were nominated for awards this uh, this time around at those at the Enskers, those were images submitted by you on the Discord. So make sure to join the Discord, okay? Um, Deadpool. <laughs> Terrific engineering work tonight, Deadpool. Um, guys, there's a sixth member of the cast. It's Deadpool. It's 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 Rocky. It's Chris. It's Jake. It's Alex. It's, it's Grant. And Deadpool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm on everything now show. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Let's yeah. Get the Deadpool emotes ready to go. Those will be really wow. exciting. But Sing hey, Sing the Ozempic song. Um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, do the Hangout channel as well. Stuff happens there. Um, and, and all the socials, oh, 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 all the Zempic. socials here. Follow the no. socials, the YouTube channel. <laughs> Over 500 That's episodes of this show commercial. archived. And hey. This show can't happen without incredible guests. So let's bring them out. It's Cameron and Robin! Yay! Yay. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. What do we do? Hi. Just pose under the sign for a second. Oh, all right. Nailed I just it. want to say that uh, these boys are just some of the best boys there are. Yes. Oh, uh, they're, they, they're a lot of fun. They got, they're good Christians. They mm -hmm. go to church That's every right. Sunday. That's right. They pray yeah. the rosary. Mm -hmm. Ash Wednesday was this last uh, Wednesday. Um, and instead of going out and getting and making out and, and being sinful, they went and got their ash and they got the smudge. And That's right. uh, That's Lent right. is next. So uh, make sure to sacrifice a part of your life for that until, uh, until the rebirth. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um. Thank you. Thank Anything you. Anything to plug? Uh, there's a Twitch. Channel oh yeah. So I, I, I got uh, I got a I got a Twitch show that I do. Um, it's not as good as this. It's not as well thought out. Um, we don't have uh, as many wires or lights. Uh, but we do do a show every uh, Monday, and we got a show coming up Monday on Twitch.tv slash EGI underscore two. It's a video game talk show where we specifically focus on the years 2002 to 2011, mm. except for um, all the other years that we do also mm -hmm. focus on. So we'll do that on Monday, and then we do another show on Wednesday, which is different. Robbie, I'm tired of hearing so much about AAA video games that everybody loves. Is there a show that I could watch that talks about like, six or seven out of ten kind of games yes. that are kind of like okay had yes, some good pimp. ideas but yes. weren't developed <laughs> too perfectly yes i love the pimp uh that you are and, the, and, the, and the everybody's a pimp and oh that sounded so you natural. were if you were gonna be if you're if you were gonna hustle if you there's there's two kinds of pimps and people don't realize this but there's two kinds there's ones that um are good and uh promote uh, egi2 which is a show that talks a lot about six to seven out of ten games between 2002 and 2011, except for all the other years that we also talk about mm -hmm. and focus on. Mm -hmm. And then there's pimps that are bad and go mm -hmm. to jail and are and are hunted down in the night. Mm -hmm. No, no, right. no to those pimps. That's right. Cameron? Um, you know, <laughs> I have been spending a lot of time teaching at USC and I don't understand why bag. that's allowed. I think there. it's wrong and I'm looking forward to my students eventually watching this. Yes. I uh, also was a college teacher at it for a time, but I and uh, back then I was also a night. Uh, was it when you have a night job? Night on Night owling. Oh yeah. Moon. That's as a, a lot. As, yeah. a bar, as a bar bouncer, so uh, anybody Whoa. who's doing the uh, anybody who's doing the college gig, uh, I respect you. You're um, a good pimp. Thank you. And I've uh, also been hanging out at USC a lot. I set my Tinder discovery to one mile, and I just walk around the campus. Below 21 going. years old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You got Scott from going. Going. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Scott. Um, I also am doing, like, I guess a bi-monthly show in L.A. That's with, what I'm talking about. Uh, me and Alan Resnick and 
uh, Kyle Mazzono and Wyatt Fair, and it's called Today Junior. Oh hell yeah! yeah. So, so, it's, a, it's a good show. It's gonna be. It's a free show. It's a free show. Robbie did it. Robbie was great. No one was there. Uh, that was great. That's well, it was raining, it was and it was raining. It was raining. It wasn't, it wasn't it was our raining. fault. It was my fault, and I and I paid the price. And we told you that, and thank you for recognizing that. But I did read some poetry that uh, I thought was pretty good. It was awesome. I believe it. Okay, folks. Uh, two sleeps left before the streamer awards. Make sure to tune in. Make sure what to say sleeps? your prayers. I think going to bed. Yeah. Two sleeps. Oh. You're like the Muppets Christmas Carol. Oh. Uh, one sleep till Christmas. Yeah. I thought that's what you were calling your show now. I think that's that would be great. Cool. And that's how you know when somebody references the Muppet Christmas Carol and they're a pimp, you know <laughs> that you don't have to hunt them down in the night. And that was natural. Someone clipped that. That's awesome. Colin watched really Muppet good. Christmas Carol and then decided it was time to propose to me. Aww. That's truly. Wow. wow. That's that is. Really sweet. That's a man. Someone clipped that. That's a real man. That's a man. Wow. All right, we're going to raid somebody. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's figure out who. Let's it was who. four in the morning. Wow. Oh <laughs> he proposed to you at four in the morning? Yeah, I was taking him to the airport, and then I was like, what if I said no? And then you were just in an airplane for six hours. Can't That's actually Scott, probably sorry. ideal. Yeah. I would want that time. I would stand up on the I made a joke earlier that it was my show, but I was saying it was Pete Buttigieg's show. Not, yes. Not Robbie's show. <laughs> 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 just want to clear that out. Hey, VTAC, I heard earlier you said Grant Hangout Stream win. I noticed you didn't say Deadpool Hangout Stream win. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. Uh, You're hey. more likely to get a Deadpool Hangout Stream than a Grant Hangout Stream. I will not be touching that channel with a 10-foot Because Grant ball. has a girlfriend. Hey, is this kid good looking or what, huh? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up. This guy is a hooker. Why did that feel so mean? Why did that feel so mean? Cloud. That is so mean. I'm serious. I That's love a genuine that. compliment. Yeah. Yeah. Who are we rating? Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, yeah. Bye, oh, sandwich. Hey, sandwich. Say hi to Wait, Sandwich. Sandwich. Wait, is that a uh, sandwich from. Uh, which sandwich is that? The, the Twitch streamer. Is the Twitch streamer named Sam? Uh, hell yeah. Excuse me. North Carolina? Hey, you. I had a big salad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of Oh, onions. I had a huge salad. Now I'm just burping up all this salad. Onions were there. I think it's I think it's admirable that you guys stand here for this Chicken. long. We usually don't. It's a little weird. I had tonight, a great, tonight you know, has fully gone off the rails, but in a really of good way. And feta. I think the way the raid went through. All right, did, okay. you hit, did you hit stop streaming? I'm going to now. Did you hit stop recording? I'm going to now. now. Then we should.